but with anatomy is defined like really beautifully so if you look at the main torso region of the uh, character it has this komodo dragon looking body um it that looks really really cool and um, i'm kind of curious to see how sunil would approach that i'd really like to learn how to uh, model this as well because why not um when somebody is doing it well learn from them right and uh, can i stop you for a second Yeah, you'll so, hate me for this but i had your sound disabled for a while on no, stream that, looks... oh, <laughs> that oh, happened oh. that happened to me once by uh, like learn how to uh, model this as well because why not um when somebody is doing Wait, it, like, who's like listening to that and, uh, <laughs> can i stop you for a second oh, so, yeah, go for it. You will hate me for this. I mean, from the start, I think this is there, but from the start, it was your own. What's happening right now? Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, no anyway, yeah, no, redo that. Like, uh, turn off your uh, YouTube and redo that. Wait, who's like listening to that? Who's playing YouTube know, right bro. now? I'm just. I'm not listening to it. I'm hearing whatever we are speaking I mean, again. From the start, I think this is there, but from the start, it was your own. <laughs> Turn off your YouTube, Clint. <laughs> you okay? Who turned on YouTube? Clint did. No, I did not. Fuck you. And where's the sound coming from? Anyway, it's gone now. Okay, to continue, carry on. Okay. Did anybody hear anything that I was start start from start time? from the uh, beginning again? Bro, I heard this oh, this is okay. This is the start now. <laughs> you are starting the stream now. <laughs> so Shit. go for it. <laughs> From <laughs> from the introductions. Okay. So, uh, hey, what's up? Um, I'm Bhargava, and like I came across this artwork, and uh, I thought it's really cool. So I just thought I'd ask Sunil to model it for me, so that I can do some texturing and shading. I've worked with Sunil professionally for some time, and like known him as a good, really good friend for a, uh, quite some time now. Um, and yeah, I think the others on the stream are like uh, Clint and um, Dinesh, oh. and uh, Sunil as well. So yeah, Clint, you want to introduce yourself? Uh, I'm not gonna do it again for Sunil's fuck. Okay, I'll kick him out. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's alright. The seriousness that I'm gonna redo everything. Even I gave up on my first stream, okay. dude. I didn't redo anything. <laughs> Either way, Dinesh is here as well. He's a hey, audio I, without I, a face. I'm, yeah, I'm just an audio for today. Yeah. So um. Nice to meet everybody on the stream, which is probably two or three people right now. <laughs> That's that feels awesome. <laughs> so, yeah. um, anyways, um, I came across this artwork on YouTube by uh this person called Ogden Sporen. I, I have no idea how to pro- how to pronounce it. I probably butchered it, and uh, it's anyways, it's linked in the description, I believe. So I thought this looked really cool. Like uh, many different aspects of it uh, felt really cool to me. So I cannot model for shit. So I'm asking um, Sunil to do this for me. So Sunil is gonna be modeling um, this character. It's a, it's basically a culmination of like some three four um, different creatures. Basically, one there's a cobra towards the head, and like overall there's a jellyfish throughout. And you have the body of a komodo dragon, and um, Yeah, so basically you have a snake, a sea creature, and a living dragon. So, oh yeah, and it has the wings of a moth. So, yeah, that's that. I thought that's really cool, and um, I want to I want to texture and shade it. So, modeling is going to be done by Sunil, and I can't wait to see what he does. Um, so, like from a texture and look dev point of view, right? Um, as far as texturing is concerned, it I don't see too much of a difficulty. doing anything or achieving anything certain things uh, will have to look artistically nice like um if the blending of the places near the head specifically where there are a lot of small uh, features and forms it will have to look really good but as long as um there's a good sculpt pass on it i don't think there should be an issue and um, i'm pretty confident with sunil so i don't think there should be any issue with that at all and as far as shading goes that's where i'm most interested in i might do it with katana and uh, pia man or anil and maya i haven't decided yet but um either ways um i i'm really interested to like um push the look towards the jellyfish regions where it's going to be translucent and kind of see through um i feel like that's a very interesting look and uh, the other place which i'm really excited about is uh towards the inner mouth and the 
eyes and the nose where there is this sort of a bioluminescence happening that's also happening in regions where the jellyfish kind of shows up so you can uh, kind of see like there's light em- uh, emitting from the character itself that looks so cool and i have no idea how to uh, set that up just try to make it look believable uh, at least physically believable or irl believable so um yeah other than that as far as texturing goes i'm not super bothered but uh, we'll see how it goes that's that's basically what i'm interested in this character so you called it dragon no i just said it has the body of a komodo dragon dude no you, you called it dragon komodo dragon Anyway, nah, I don't. I Anyways, I don't, yeah, go for it. I don't know how this will work. This light thing in actual, like, if you're putting it on a 3D model. Okay. So, um, as for that, right? Like, okay. So my plan for this, I'll just tell you, anyways. So, um, you can kind of keep all of that region wherever the bioluminescence coming. You don't have to really worry about that because I should be able to control it through some sort of an ISO or something. So as long as I paint across the regions where I need the glow. i should give me the output that i'm expecting but if it's not going to happen we may have to add or remove some sort of geo there uh, it shouldn't be too much of a hassle um but we can figure it out as we go but basically the plan right now for the glowing regions right i'm going to be controlling all the bioluminescence through an iso map so imagine a black and white map that i'm going to be painting uh, from like the inside mouth towards the outer edge which is kind of gradually going towards black so the luminescence kind of reduces in general and a uh, similar kind of a thing for the eyes the nostrils and the regions where it's happening below the jellyfish uh, parts as well so that's what i plan to do yeah <clears throat> i mean like here it looks kind of very flat so we'll we might need like lot of details for it to work properly to it, for it to look good actually probably yeah the one other thing that i'm actually kind of concerned about right so if you look at the darker regions in the body so um basically uh if you zoom in towards the wings right mm-hmm. the moth wings yeah so if you see one side of it is kind of dark and the other side of it is kind of light this kind of happens overall on the body so on the hands and stuff you can just make it look like a pattern and get away with it where those spots are there that's not too big a deal but similar stuff when it's happening towards the face right I'm not able to completely kind of distinguish between making it look like a pattern or if that is happening because of uh, the thickness of the geo there or the sculpt details or what why that would kind of show up like would that be something that I'd want to try to achieve through shading or through texturing is what I'm kind of trying to um go at here I might try both ways and see what I get what do you think Dinesh and Clint on the head I think is mostly shadow like just to make it look yeah. you know yeah the darker think, region outside the brightest part huh? yeah mm, i see what I you mean the low frequency parts would be controlled by the sculpt mostly yeah but um, there would be some contribution from the color but i think it's mostly from the displacement on the shape of the geo itself Mm. I mean even okay. in sculpting right you can't make everything very flat here right right now you see everything the forms are very flat like there no you know uh, like high frequency or anything so if you make this thing that very flat a, right that concept so I'm, i mean it look very cartoonish so... unless you have a proper reference uh-huh. to put on something yeah okay so uh with regarding that right if you just keep it zoomed in towards the face there's one more thing that i'd want to add so um basically this is the idea that i have at the moment especially towards the head more than other places it's like you see how from inside the mouth that glow is showing up like the luminescence i'm mm-hmm. planning to add something similarly or similar on the top of the head as well so the darker regions towards the edge of the face not the bulb not the bulb the main part of the uh, snake head okay. so the darker regions on the head right those regions would have no uh, what do you call this no luminescence at all and everything around it would actually kind of be illuminated it would actually be emitting some amount of uh, uh, light from itself what do you think mm-hmm. do you think that would make more sense than trying to make it look subsurface or something like that like um, any you have any thoughts on that so you're going to make the geo emit like not put something inside it make it translucent and emit but make it entirely emitting 
yeah That's not nice. completely I mean, like uh, mask you, is a better option kind of moderate it yeah mask it and moderate how much uh, light it emits okay like the depths won't emit light the edges won't emit light uh, yeah, yeah. The top in the top yeah that exactly. also exactly that makes sense right i mean looking so, at yeah, this yeah. side it does make sense like if you go further from the this thing right center of the head it becomes more like darker and there's no yeah. darker light there yeah 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 <laughs> everywhere like yeah. even if you look at those tentacles right it's like they're pretty thin but um the further away that it's been painted from the light source it's the he it's been made darker so like mm-hmm. it kind of makes sense it's like if if that's not emitting light and the rest of it is if that makes sense at all yeah here like yeah. Uh, according to the concept it looks like here we have a lot of light here little less then it keep fading as we go away from the head so wherever the body kind of becomes thicker it's kind of reducing right that's yeah. like that that was my observation and that was my plan to proceed yeah. i mean it's completely fading from the top right if you look at the face if, if you go down right mm-hmm. it's completely mm-hmm. fading there's like absence of light here even though it's very thin yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly yeah clint do you have any thoughts Two of you all professionally are working on something like this, which we can't talk about. So I think those two of you all know what exactly the loop dev process would be. So I'm gonna leave it. Hey, to that's you. for whatever character, man. Like uh, to help with that. Like this is what I'm, I'm speaking about right now, because uh, that's so not any one, one, one of those. Probably a very good work. idea of how that uh, bioluminance works because of okay. characters. um i'm going to critique the sculpt i guess that's what i'm here for ah. <laughs> oh damn okay give, why, give why don't you do that dude why don't you speak about like uh, how you plan to approach for the yeah, sculpt yeah at least give me some inputs on modeling then okay uh, first of all i'd say the moth wings are look uh, get references of a manta ray actually because the wings look more like a ray than uh, ah yeah a uh, butterfly butterfly wing. yeah it's like should be aquatic maybe like yeah, more towards it, that yeah uh, i see so what you mean that I makes sense the dragon i see isn't there some reptile that also swims pretty well like that right. let's see but what do you mean like wings a manta ray and uh, rather than a komodo dragon i see i see something else i can't think of what it is though once i find out i'll, I'll send you hey uh, can you just zoom into the uh, reference image right below that uh, this one the bottom left yeah. yeah you still you still think that clint like uh, look at look at what like the underbelly of a komodo <laughs> dragon looks like fair enough so fair. yeah that's why i kind of went for that and um, it's like i i don't know it felt like even the skin right it was kind of um, like leathery in both cases but like as far as the underbelly of the concept art goes obviously it won't have cells like that it'll have more of a snake underbelly kind of a look and feel because it'll have those big scales or like scale look yeah i think for the body it makes sense to go with commando dragon because of the feet and everything right and just saying like purely cuz how uh, you know scales are supposed to be like hard and well defined and the creature yeah. is like very soft and jellyfish like yeah and actually more we... of a, uh, mid, mid to high frequency problem and i think we'll only be approaching lower today so yeah that's the problem for future you uh, okay it might not be even low frequency today so uh, the thing is we actually already spoke about this thing right so i don't think we are going to make scales of this kind right on this guy uh no no we won't be making scales of that kind we'll be going with what um the underbelly of a snake looks like i have a few references for that as well they have something that looks very similar so uh-huh. we try to get that in but uh, rather than having it look like that skin of a snake make it look more like actual skin but um kind of try to make it look similar to that of an underbelly of a snake i am not entirely sure how that would look perfectly because there's no reference that looks very well very uh, similar to what i just described but um if all else fails i don't know we'll uh, change know what's that the thing possible. that you're talking about on the yeah. screen yeah 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 you know what's a good example the movie oh. underwater 
Yeah, I would say like oh, go with more work. aquatic creatures or like animals rather than like land thing or like butterflies yeah, and more. Yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. So there's this Cthulhu monster in underwater that some of us worked on. You'll get a very search for underwater creature, underwater movie creature. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. And you'll get that. Uh, so I think, I mean, I know it was done. Here in our company, and you will get that weird jellyfish-like uh, subsurface references for the creatures. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think that will give you a good idea of what the skin should end up being like if you're going to go for this whole semi yeah, yes. kind of look rather than yes. scaly look. Yeah, if I was yeah. doing it, I would go for this look rather than a. Uh, reptilian look yeah like we should not make any scaly look it it look weird like yeah 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 the water creature now nah, man that's what i meant like um the patterning of those cell like structures on the underbelly right yeah it looks somewhat similar to that of a snake pattern on the underbelly but i wouldn't want the look them to go in that direction as well in general just the model um is model would be um similar to that of the snake but the texture and what what do you call it the skin feel or the appeal of the skin would look more to that of a what do you call it like uh, more to more closer to that of a jellyfish or something like that rather jellyfish. than to yeah, yeah, yeah than to like sense. a snake itself so you're only saying That's the pattern I mean. will take the pattern yeah, exactly. from that thing then yeah. we'll make it more organic exactly things. yeah yeah only the displacements okay. and all go towards a reptile yeah i would shoot down ref- reptile completely but i just i mean like no nah, long... I, i just i just said that to stick to mm-hmm. uh, like what the concept art has or like what the um, artwork actually has concept art has it ha we I mean, lot of lot of reptiles go underwater actually even with the scales and everything so yeah that's true oh uh, you know what a good i don't know i don't know if this would be a good idea for a reference but like um an idea for a reference would be like um these sea water snakes um they have some similar looking and uh, scales there again but um but again those are scales and uh, really? we wouldn't really want to do that but then again just saying that um a lot of the skin details are not going to be visible altogether it's it i want it to look kind of similar to what's there in the concept art like i'm speaking about the final render type of a look mm-hmm. not like the model yeah i wouldn't want the scales or the skin to be as visible i would want I it mean, to just like we can go have that, somewhere like um, this for the skin right like yeah there, yeah there are scales but it's not completely flat mhm but it also has like that what leather, is this? leathery look it's some um, this is a snake it's a lizard creative differences <laughs> <laughs> you've heard the saying too many cooks yep. uh, spoil, spoil the sauce yeah i'm about to say kick uh, kick sunil and uh, i mean kick uh, clint and uh, dinesh out or something like that <laughs> <laughs> i just really like your uh, uh, concept So while I'm on this call, instead of working on my stuff, I'm gonna do a quick sculpt of this thing. Oh, oh man! To hell with you! No, that's exactly what I don't want you to do. Okay, <laughs> but anyways. <laughs> no, no, let let him do it. I want to critique that. I'll put oh, it on I mean, the stream and say like how. Yeah. Do it. Do it. <laughs> hey, uh, by the way, Sunil, what's what's your thought for like um kind of like merging the snake with um uh with the. manta ray towards the wings like yeah, how, yeah. how do you go about doing that that makes more sense i would say like the entire body the top body right yeah. so it uh-huh. so the wings is actually coming out of the body itself like it's not separated just like manta ray or maybe like uh, any other fish like stingray or something uh-huh. so it's not like separated like bird or any any other creature yeah what's the what's the name of the artist again uh it's on the screen type it out so nobody's gonna say it so <laughs> oh, i think then i want that reference it looks cool eh okay um dude 
Sunil, just asking. I know it's still kind of early, uh-huh. but um, and we may just go back and change it again. But um, we can't. We obviously can't see the back of the creature in this. Um, yeah. do you have any thoughts for what you're going to do for the wing towards the back of the uh, creature? Like, I am pulling um, up because some... is it going to be two? Yeah, uh, I mean, like I get that a manta ray looks like that, but no. uh, in this case, while you're merging it into this character, no. would you try and uh, make it two separate wings, or it's just attached above the shoulder region into one giant wing or something like that? Do you have any thoughts for that? Because I haven't really thought enough about it, so I just want to see what you what you think. So for this, I, yeah, for this, I would say like he'll have a structure of a body like the back body like this. But yeah. From the side, right, the wings are sticking out of the body. There's not separated wings; they're coming out of the body. Okay. So if you want them separately for more control, we can do that. I mean, they'll be a okay. lot more easier to do stuff if it's separate. But if you want them to very connected to the body, right? Like here, I don't see any separation. It's very like organic and connected. Like looks, it thing. looks more like a cloak to me. I know. Yeah, hmm, but like I see what you mean. If you yeah, look skin. closely, right, they're merging mm-hmm. like like a skin. Or it's something. merged together. Yeah. Yeah. So if you and want, that, I don't know. Like um, it just like occurred to me like when the Dinesh said it looks like a cloak. It literally actually looks like a cloak. It's coming all the way till like the. Uh, the collarbone yeah like i mean i don't think this would have something in the lines for collarbone i mean but, um I, I i have one more idea i think this could be actually a jellyfish kind of structure which will close on him right you get what i'm saying mm-hmm. like it could mm-hmm. be like it, it can close and it can open yeah. like that because of this structure, ah. it looks like that yeah I see what you mean. I see what you mean. That's that's like an interesting idea. But would you be able to make something to look like that? In that case, that would essentially be one wing which it has just opened up yeah. in front, like a zipper or something. Yeah, yeah. basically that. So it's just like the continuation of the structure, right? It'll become mm. a bigger jellyfish here, which is actually hiding his entire body, and he he's able to open it maybe. Ah, that it's that an... sounds damn cool. Yeah, like you you'll be able to manage to do something like that. Yeah, I think yeah we can do that. We can try that. I'm, I'm just wondering how you would uh, like. I, I'm just curious to see how you'd uh, merge that wing in with the body and make it look natural. Because um, I don't know, it's a yeah. little like if yeah. it, if you think about that one structure, right? Then would would that be like separated from the body backside, or would that like stick to the body, right? um i didn't follow sorry do you mean so like so basically um, if i'm saying like with some separate structure like this which will cover his body right then uh, like mm-hmm. it should not be sticking to the body at the back side it should be like yeah, open yeah, maybe yeah 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 so it would have to be one wing that's yeah. what i meant as well yeah so it basically it'll become be a cloak wing. like he was saying <laughs> <laughs> yeah so should it be like that or should it should that like merge with the body because this structure here right It looks like mm. this is going to the leg. It's attaching to the leg. You have that uh, on animals. You have that layer on the leg, right? Back leg. Ah, uh, you mean like those yeah. webbed feet kind yeah, of thing? Yeah, yeah. It's like webbing towards the yeah. leg. I don't think. Oh. I don't think that's a good idea, man. Like, um, I don't know. Uh, it. I'm not entirely sure if that's what's been like. If that's what was planned while this artwork was created as well, because I think it's attaching to the body in the back more than the legs. um or the arms if you want to call it that it just has two appendages right like um just two hands and a tail there's no oh he does have legs okay no, he does have four two more, more. so legs. yeah as long as it's not attaching to the ones on front i think it should be fine but um i don't know i mean i, I think... don't think it attaches to the hands at all dude it would be i don't know do you think it would be uh, like Usable if it were attached to the hands, there'd be a huge uh, gap yeah, between exactly. the hands and the body when it's trying to swim around. I don't know. Exactly, it wouldn't make sense. Why is screen sharing is screen? Wouldn't make sense. Okay, I'll make it full screen once you're done. <laughs> no, 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 don't do that. <laughs> okay, you just do it. People can see that anyway. So. <laughs> But anyway, I think that's an interesting idea. The way like he'll cover up his body and thing, right? Like. Yeah, from the yeah. top, yeah. You can probably go for that. Like, it would be covered from the neck. Like, I mean, I like 
uh, Dinesh was saying, like a cloak yeah, coming in yeah. from here, yeah. and it's just coming down like um, like how a cloak would hang, but because it's in water, it's kind of far uh, further away. And in the back, it's not connected anywhere at all, so yeah. it can actually come in and cover like a complete umbrella to yeah. create that uh, jellyfish-ish look. Yeah, because so if you can even in the concept, right, you can actually see a lot of folds here. but not anywhere yeah. else right so basically yeah. there's yeah. like extra structure there so which could yeah, like actually yeah that makes up. sense yeah that so makes sense we can try different thing i think attaching to the body will work better instead of like keeping it as a floating geo from the back side mm -hmm. but yeah we can try mm -hmm. if that doesn't work we can separate it and try it out as well mm i'm just saying um a lot of these creatures right i mean i'm not speaking about this um in real life at least like there are frogs that can open up their uh, region under the neck expanded a lot to like yeah. make louder sounds or like to impress the mates or whatever so there's a possibility like you can kind of try uh, you can think of it from the point of view as um the cloak or the wing or whatever the jellyfish part kind of closes up to an extent where you don't see it yeah. anymore at all yeah. so you can if you think from that point of view where it's uh, kind of stored away in the back hmm. you won't want to attach it anywhere to the body other than uh, towards the uh, region near the near the collarbone so i don't know that's something to think about and obviously you can kind of um, make I would get to creative calls like when yeah are, I mean uh, like you actually sculpt it and see what it looks yeah, like yeah it could look different depending on how we make it and 3d it could look totally different so let's see uh, like what works better and mm -hmm. i'm yeah. not sure about the head size here like looking at from far right i think it's too big if that's how we want that to be um i wouldn't mind it dude because um again like the head i feel like is um going off of a cobra and um, or uh, like um if you've seen any of the videos of um the snakes that can open up their hood they they have really small heads and they manage to open it up yeah. so if if this was a real life creature and like um a photo was clicked i feel like this would be one of those moments when it has everything flared up to like yeah. um, i mean that makes sense if you or... just like look from the eyes eyes eye to eye right and yeah. if you look at the size yeah. from here to here and compare to the body right it's actually huge yeah yeah this year oh yeah i yeah. see what you mean i see what you mean so it could basically um, be a perspective thing when he's uh, sketching out as it's coming out up right he's maybe is making it bigger uh huh uh like do you want like it i don't know like just looking at only at the head and the body right kind of looks like yeah. it is huge the head is too big, big. Yeah, yeah i see what you mean dude i i kind of agree with you um i kind of agree with you on that you can probably um make it a little bit smaller because it is too big right now i i see what you mean yeah and i think for the head yeah. right we can actually do the this kind of pattern where where is the other one something like this maybe okay. smaller scale or something because like flat it won't look good yeah uh we can add all of that in but um one thing that you're going to have to keep in mind is you're going to be seeing that through as um what would you call it like um uh underwater skin or something like that not scales yeah, exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. and even when it comes to underwater skin it'll be like underwater skin that's kind of glowing so yeah. you're not Can actually see it, but it will be the patterns that you might. Yeah, that 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 that's space. actually one more reason. If you're making it subsurface, right? This uh -huh. most of these details will disappear. There's not going to be a whole lot of subsurface towards the head. It's only mainly going to be the glow and um, what do you call this? Um, transmission and stuff like that. Transmission on the bulb of the head. So wait, this luminance so, yeah. you won't control mm -hmm. through subsurface. I mean, oh, also no, the head no, that's no bioluminescence. That's, that's a separate to... uh, thing. Okay. Sorry, Dinesh, go for it. The head doesn't look that big to me, honestly. It the head feels like it's only connected to the neck. The extra part that's there is probably like the jellyfish thing itself. It's just thin mesh that's just coming out. I mean, thin membrane that's just coming out. That nah. like a uh, bit less subsurface which is making it look thick. Like uh, I see what you mean, but what basically think. what Sunil was getting at was like if you look at the distance between eyes and compare it to the distance between the shoulders, right? 
um, you see how like the, uh, like the distance down, begins like about that. the same. It looks like oh, the okay. head is like as big as the shoulder. Like between the eyes, it looks as big as the shoulder. Mm-hmm. So that's okay, what Sumit okay. was getting at. But um, it can also be one of those um, perspective issues where it's like the head is much closer and the that body is, is kind of floating yeah. back. So um, mm-hmm. yeah, that is something that um, you yeah, have to that think about while sculpting it out. Yeah. Cool. That uh, this is informative and lot of opinions. Yeah. Just asking, Clay, do you have any thoughts on like the size of the head? I mean, it's not real. So whatever. Works, I mean, if it, even good. if it's not, yeah, that's the thing. Like, uh, if you make it in three D with like uh, diff, uh, weird proportions, right? It could get real weird. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if you look at it just objectively from an anatomical point of view, of course, the head is almost from the neck to the uh, body is almost as big as the entire body. Which yeah. is possible <laughs> to begin with. So you just have to like Fair make enough. It look good. At the end of the day, you can break rules and all. It's 3D after all. Yeah, I mean, whatever looks good. Whatever looks good, yeah. You you guys have heard of suspension of disbelief. Exactly, it is. <laughs> if you want to like make logic out of this, also fine. Like he's mostly underwater, so it doesn't matter if his head is huge and heavy and all. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that that makes more sense now. <laughs> then it doesn't explain the arms. Why why is, why is he so jacked? <laughs> hey, you never know. He's probably strangling somebody underwater. Dude, he could be an amphi- like amphibious creature. You know what I mean? Warrior jelly, dude. You never know. Nah, dude. Like he comes yeah, out of the water to hunt like, uh... and, and like goes back into the water to look cool because um, he has look, the to look cool. <laughs> wow. way, yeah, yeah, dude. Why not? <laughs> Impress me rather than logic. So, go lean into the appeal rather than anything else. Mm-hmm. But the end I result should it. be more believable, right? That something that could exist. Yeah, yeah. Out of this thing. Think of it as like three different animals, and then you're good. Yeah. Believable, and it needs to look dope as fuck. For the sculpting, I think I'll have to find a lot more references, which I'll do after this stream, maybe. So, are you going for like realism, or are you going to be stylized? Like... Uh, it's not going to be stylized, right? Um, dude, I want it to be kind of stylized, more than uh, realistic, because um, I feel like if you tend towards realism, right, a lot of the things in this should be possible, and it might end up looking too weird. So I'm not saying that. Yeah, um, I'm not saying that I wanna what do you call it? Like uh, make it look super uh, super cartoony or something. I'm just saying like. Um, Certain things I'd rather push more towards a stylized look than um, than trying to make it physically accurate. If that so makes any sense. Semi stylized, like that sweet spot, will try to get something. Yeah, yeah. Recommend the art style of Dishonored when it comes to somewhere between. Uh, between yeah, but that'll over. become very simple for this creature, I would say. I mean, again, creative differences, I guess. The whales in Dishonored have the stylized, semi-realism look to it. Okay. You could totally search for whales. I'm searching right now. Yeah. Yeah, and you'll yeah. see what I mean. Like, it has like a stylized look and huh. a certain level of realism. Is this thing that can uh, that has a bunch of fins coming out or something? Uh, your yeah, it is. It's like this freaky ass. Uh, yeah. Okay, whale. I see what you mean. So it is real, but at the same time, it's a little stylized. So yeah, it's like a whale and a shark that's mixed or something. Yeah. That's yeah, something. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Um, yeah, I would, I would try to push for something that looks or like the idea of something like this, basically, where um, you mm-hmm. have it uh, looking a little more stylized, where you know that you're not gonna be seeing this anywhere in the real yeah. world, but um, also looks physically kind of accurate but that's more of a texture look dev thing than the sculpt or the model so um anyways no i think i uh, low frequency matters a lot dude yeah yeah 
like yeah. frequency will carry your model through everything that's also the i agree right. with you yeah like on the veil you can see there are a lot of planes instead of like uh, actually having like forms and this thing on the veil the reference that you see right from dishonored yeah yeah, yeah. exactly yeah but my point being like for this especially i wouldn't approach it from a realistic point of view at all but that's because i have moved on from realism and i don't like it anymore again personally <laughs> <laughs> out of context that sentence is just like what the fuck <laughs> yeah but we are, we we are not going for hyper realism so okay. yeah, would you yeah, yeah exactly that's that's, that's what i was getting realism. at I'm sorry what Sunil would you consider your goblin sculpt as realism nope. no okay, no okay i would consider that as realism so. no if you just talk about the details like just for the surface detail you're saying no uh, even like it's not stylized right it's following mm, how can i put this see this is where the kind of idea kind of yeah. blurs or like the line kind of blurs and you're not entirely sh- speaking about the same thing um especially because like if you ask me like um for realism i'd speak of it more in the lines of like physically how realistic that looks like how believable that would be to somebody who is who who's completely naive and would actually accept that such a thing exists you know what i mean so although mm-hmm. i agree that um, the model would have a lot to do with it i feel like the what do you call this I mean, the surface yeah accuracy of yeah the accuracy of what the the shading looks like would be a lot more important in many cases yeah i mean like just in case like if this character right it is not realistic is it mm-hmm. now but if yeah. you do it like for hyper realistic uh, skin textures right like yeah. skin would look realistic technically but it's ca- the entire yeah. character is not realistic and thing so it exactly differs, that's yeah. the thought i was going with too that's exactly the thought i was going with too so um from that point of view yeah like i would want it to look kind of physically accurate um but not um not something that's completely believ- believable something that you'd want to create as a character in dungeons and dragons maybe i don't know I'm completely lost right now because this artist called Arnold Roy I'm pretty sure he's not indian but i'm not really sure <laughs> A R N A U D Roy Jagger is in stuffy. He does these quick sculpts. Uh, okay. Uh so Oh yeah, I've seen his stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so he has these like this is what I mean by stylized. So especially oh, I've seen this. I think if you look at it, is the Velma that got you in it? Of course it's the Velma. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> See, the Velma is not stylized. That I would say that is realism. But yeah. It, the yeah, fact that stylized i would say that stylized nah man what the hell i don't know that's a tattooed I one i would not Look say that's stylized face, what <laughs> dude face on that is not visible just saying but yeah i see what you mean okay yeah, so that's my distinction of stylized and realism i guess his work you can see that there do you have any specific yeah, artwork that like... you'd want to see Hell, look at that frog mm-hmm. one. Look at one of his oldest sculpts. It has okay. as something aquatic, which you see that it's obviously stylized, and the level of detail. I mean, I, that's perfect for me. That would fit your reference very well. I'm sorry, dude. I didn't find the frog. Uh, go to his Insta feed. Scroll. Oh, on his Insta feed, is it? Okay. Yeah. I was also looking at him. Art station. Yeah, he doesn't have much. He's doing these really cool daily sculpt things where you can vote on which he does. Bulbous or I see a chameleon. Straight down, and there's a frog. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Frog. yeah. yeah. Samurai frog, no. Yeah, yeah exactly. Stylized. Yeah, I would call this stylized too. That's what I meant. So that's kind of like 
what uh, the look i was speaking about as well it's like if you look at the skin itself you're like yeah that looks like pretty real skin but like the character you're never going to see that like why would you have a jack frog like, <laughs> yeah uh huh jack i would say the frog for something like this happens. rather than something you know with proper anatomy and this is all exaggerated right like his hands are huge and this head is huge and like all the other muscles are tiny it's exaggerated beyond realism yeah yeah instead of like yeah your references all have i mean everything is based on something real but yeah i mean like don't it... lean towards more of that komodo dragon feel and lean more towards an exaggerated version of it because yeah i think we tell the appeal of this creature more than there are people who do like freaky creatures which definitely won't exist and make it look hyper realistic but mm-hmm. the main know. thing is you should get the structure out of the shape right like without that it look very weird so basically uh, for the structure you'll have to put in some anatomy some form of anatomy yeah 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 exactly like, just exaggerate it is what i would say yeah Damn. This basically was speaking about from modeling point of view, right? Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, by the way, are you done with your uh, sculpt? Shows your original dude. My my laptop is so shitty. I cannot do OBS and ZBrush. Is just buy bad. a computer. Come on. I actually might come with me to Espiro. Uh, what? <laughs> I didn't hear that. But go buy a computer, dude. Yes. I was there yesterday, dude. You you have no idea, like I went well through. <laughs> Where you were in SP road yesterday? Yeah. You sure oh, you? I I, I have. You, I think you have an idea what I went through. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but <laughs> do you do you link this thing to anyone in production by any chance? Uh yeah. Uh, let's not talk about that right now. Uh, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> Who's watching it right now? Do don't don't bring in some shit there. Three people are watching it. I don't know. I see what? six people, four people now. Oh okay. I did share it around a bit. Six so. went down to four so bad. I'm not able to hear you guys. Oh, you got that from Karthikeyan, is it, Sunil? Uh, what? I think I'm deaf. Oh my god. No, this is the from bro. Jugal, dude, his friend. Uh, Clint's yeah, friend. I ditched Apex. Okay. We were playing a good match of Apex for this. This it's good. I mean, you're most you're more than welcome to go out, bro. <laughs> no, bro. Just so I you know. Me, I want to be famous like you. <laughs> Fame. Yeah. Just saying, like this as of right now. <laughs> yeah, it looks weird. <laughs> I know. I'm, um, I I I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I'm I'm just like it's very weird, dude. I'm gonna try once more. Ah, look, looking at my work, you said like, ah, this I can do, right? This I can do. What? Clint, Clint, he said like he'll try once more, right? Yeah. So basically, looking at my work, he's like, ah, this even I can do this kind of no, kind of I, shit. Chill. <laughs> there are many uh, inferiority or superiority complexes. You are a good artist. <laughs> 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 Better. No, <laughs> what I'm saying is I'm inspiring you right now to do things. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's part of the reason why I'm coming on all your sculpts and shit because it's an inspiration, really. Not even like pulling legs and. Uh, oh, that's so sweet. Bonding. <laughs> Bonding. <laughs> no, it's good to surround yourself with people who know shit, man. Think. Hey, uh, really? inside the. jellyfish right like inside the part of the jellyfish do you think it would be um cool if we added some sort of those um gills like not gills i don't know what do you those call those like lines those kind of things yeah. right yeah like yeah, you have yeah. it under mushroom or something yeah yeah like something, like, something that. like that yeah that would like mm. from a lower angle that would look like that would give it a lot more um detail in there i don't yeah. know i'm just thinking thinking out loud if it's sound stupid just let me know yeah i mean like without anything right if you put anything like if you are putting uh, luminance anywhere right without yeah. any detail over there it looks weird and very flat which won't yeah. work 
if there's yeah, a light exactly. there should correct. be something to break the structure in the light yeah like yeah 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 so for that right from that yeah. point of view i plan to add in these patterns um wherever like it feels right so this is like still kind of a distant thought process mm-hmm. but in texturing you remember how i told you about adding uh, an iso to control the luminous luminance basically so um i would try to make it with like these spots throughout to kind of break up the light towards wherever the skin kind of gets thicker yeah just to add in like more break up to make it look better so but that's still a distant thought so i haven't really um put in enough um well brain power to see if that would work or if that would look good yeah one more thing man once you start working on it right everything mm-hmm. can change bro like everything like you whatever you plan to do sometime will work sometime it won't work yeah so, yeah Hey, I'll be honest. Like, um, one thing you don't want to keep in mind is I don't want to replicate. I'm totally fine not replicating exactly what's there in the concept. Mm. Um, but something kind of close to it. So if you if you get some good ideas, I'm I'm all yours. Yep. Like once I have like base right, mm-hmm. then we'll figure out what to do because like right. will things will work out? Best. Things won't work out. Did you mm-hmm. ask permission to use this image yet? We are giving them credit, so it's fine. Still, see, good to you, ask. You know yeah. that you don't actually have to ask permission to do a sculpt out. Oh wait, I'm doing a video you out of it. Do right? actually some artists, some content artists are very against it. So that's why. I mean, as long as you're giving them credit, I would say it's okay. A lot of people don't do that. Do that, do that. Still, maybe they like mind it. Yeah, Maybe. we are we are not stealing their work. We are using their I'll, work to create. I'll send across something. a I'll send across a message anyways. Maybe. Yeah. Ah, uh, because yeah, you do have a point. Yeah. Most people are chill with it as long as you credit them, but just make sure you do it in advance. I think Sunil has already added um his uh link in the description. Yeah, right? I I have. Yeah. So um. I'm good with the YouTube shit, bro. I I know how to do it. Really? <laughs> no, I'm not. That's, 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 uh, that was you trying to figure. Sunil is good with technology, bro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what 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 just happened to your processor recently? By the way, just like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not over oh, it yet, bro. Let's no, not talk no. about that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> too too soon. I'm sorry, bro. I take it back. <laughs> We'll make fun of this in the fourth stream of this yeah <laughs> project. <laughs> so basically, for one month. Okay. For, for <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Time. That's what I meant. <laughs> It's too soon, bro. Oh man. And the shit I went through because of that is the uh, shit. It. Shit you sad, went bro. through, Sunil. The shit I went through for no reason. What do you I, mean no reason? I came there because of you. I wouldn't have gone there. I would have sent my butlers to it. But... Can't it join you? <laughs> Yeah, bro. I went there like a retard and spent oh, like five months doing that. I shouldn't have. <laughs> he he came there to oh, build man. a PC computer, but uh, he backed out. Yeah, especially after seeing. <laughs> he got tired of your shit. Yeah, exactly. I I got a little bored. <laughs> you know, like I don't want to spend any more time in this place. Let me get out of. <laughs> <laughs> oh man that sucks but he and he like ended up spending an entire day there so oh me sunil you oh me i came there you for feel you like you own, <laughs> no fuck no language but no <laughs> i'm trying to be like uh kid friendly <laughs> yeah like fuck so i'm not uh, i won't curse on the stream anymore <laughs> Oh, from okay. from now from now you only don't have to for the first couple of minutes or something after that it's fine i mean what do you mean? i want to use this as a portfolio thing right so i think it's a bad thing oh, it's okay. fine dude like people cuss it's okay you're not a kid anymore yes i'm a grown up man living with my i love how you whispered that ending instead of accepting it <laughs> <laughs> i said Grown up man living with my parents. That's what I try to. Oh, anyway. Bro, 
like totally off topic what's the color for normal like just a normal map 0.25 point no 255 it's 0.5.51 if i'm correct um 0.5.51 you have values for normal map the default value dude like that uh that uh, when you're painting mild paint. blue color thing uh okay i'm okay. checking give me a second i mean if I you already know. have something open and you're checking then that's fine but um oh by the way dinesh do you need like uh, yeah. mid uh, range displacement map or like uh, zero displacement which is like black value displacement for the goblin what did you give me bro i i prefer the mid value one dude unreal doesn't support like i mean mid i have to offer one no point 0.5 mid is point 0.5 i said point 0.5 right no you said one my bad point 0.5 bro point 0.5 yeah that's one that's the one that i gave you i had one with the yeah, zero I'm for anal but i i think yeah. okay hey dinesh that's i was right it's work, point 0.5 point 0.5 one r and g is point yeah, 0.5 point and blue is one ha huh. dearly that okay and let me try that by the way uh, a... clint uh, this is how i block out so if it's useful i actually wasn't paying attention to it probably should have <laughs> <laughs> so like i'm not very precious with anything i'm just like trying to have something there for everything and even more basic to look at my shit it's just balls same thing i wait language. is that my screen okay that is my screen holy like, fuck language why do we have captain america here again who's captain america guy is said language cuz you said language and i said language you think <laughs> remove Oh, so I mean, uh-huh. I say this. Nothing. Do you want to stop this? And I want to show you something. I mean, yeah, I'll show you something. You can. If you guys want to. You can. I don't want to show it on stream, bro. I mean, uh, share it on the Google thing, right? People won't be able to see that. Pumpkin head. Okay. Yeah. You sent me something. Then I said, WhatsApp is not working on my system. By the way, check it out. Like, uh, Badgawar. Like, once if you add like lot of these structures, right? Uh-huh. Instead of looking flat, it looks much better. Like, if you have very flat structure, right? Like, yeah, this, I'm with you on that, man. I'm with you on that. Right? So I'm completely with you on that. So what I'm saying is, I might end up uh, adding some bone structure here and there. Okay. Because I learned like bit of animal anatomy while doing something. So. <laughs> okay. I'll add some bone structures and some more, uh, like uh, proper properly connect everything, uh, arms and legs and everything, feet. So mm. that would make more sense. But that that won't be like one to one with the reference or the concept. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Yeah, because these connections are tricky, dude. I know, man. Like I can imagine, because like um, I mean, to be really honest, I feel like you're still doing the connections, which are kind of easy, because like the yeah, hands and yeah. the legs still have to kind of be connected to the body. Yeah. The whole, the I have no idea how you're gonna stick that jellyfish in there and make it look realistic, or even like make it look kind of normal, because um. I don't know dude it's like especially the bulb on top of the head right yeah. that is one thing that I'm super uh considering like thinking a lot about because um for one you adding it in as a model is one part of it I mean to be honest at the end you can just put in a bulb there and you can be done yeah. with it uh I am just wondering how to merge that it, in yeah, the skin yeah I'm thinking the same right? thing actually like cuz for this to yeah. blend properly right I think yeah. I'll have to create an extra structure here in the model uh-huh. and out of that structure right like let's say I have something like this and out uh-huh. of this I think I have to make that thing come out Yeah yeah you probably would Yeah I mean you see some that. kind of layer here Yeah is not I don't that, know like out of uh, I think out of the entire artwork right that bulb on top of the head is the most like unnecessary thing is what <laughs> I feel because like everything else you can still kind of explain it away it's like yeah. you have uh, the hands because it 
could be amphibic and it wants to go on the land and the whole jellyfish thing it could probably just open it when it's in water to swim faster or something like that and it's only connected near its neck and shoulder Yo, that, the exactly bulb on the head is just you want like me to explain it? hunting go okay. for it yeah exactly and angler fish is right ah yeah. yeah i know but 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 it's like see in that case i have so much to say but um, oh submarine bro do it we are literally being english teachers trying to explain a poem oh yeah <laughs> oh shit <laughs> that one hurt in a little <laughs> what context that <laughs> sentence came in like, but 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 basically can i can i, I curse for a second if, for that thing english teacher trying to explain it's your stream dude it's poem. your stream ah uh, yeah continue bro <laughs> <laughs> yeah no what i was saying was um like basically if there's if the i don't know any amphibic creature in like this again goes back to the whole um is it re- based on realistic or what but basically what i'm trying to say is i don't know a single amphibic creature which goes so deep underwater that it needs um something arms? like an angler fish to hunt and also arms yeah <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I, i don't know but like then again this could be those one of mythical creatures which lives deep in the ocean and comes out to like eat food or something it's i don't pokemon, know pokemon dude what do you say oh <laughs> there's actually a pokemon like like the new generation right there's one pokemon with like uh, this thing oh. weird tail and he uh-huh. shoot his baby through his uh, this thing like a firing thing search the new generation dragon type pokemon baby? what did i hear that right yeah it uh, shoot this baby's like a rocket thing it's it the uh, dude this design um, is really cool sunil um just just letting you know um i don't think this would help you much when it comes to the model in any way i don't know you can still check it out have you google made searched uh, sea angels by any chance ever nope check out sea angels they have um this translucentish body throughout and they kind of see through and they have this um yeah. glowing and the um, yeah yeah stuff inside yeah so that this actually a has piece. a yeah this actually has a lot of resemblance to this character that we are trying to make like i mean not in any particular place yeah. but um yeah it's like I a lot of the features kind of match this is actually completely head piece to that head perb that we were talking about right yeah is it possible for you to put up that image on stream uh yep uh let me do copy uh and paste there we go can you see it yeah 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 it's very close to the head piece dude I... i actually went in searching something else but i came across this but when i find that i'll let you know there's this other um When you said Pokemon, I just remembered. Um, there's a somebody who had uh, kind of shared this um story with me on Instagram some time back. Um, I'm trying to remember if it's Dinesh or whatever. But uh, there's this animal that you find in the ocean. It's this very um Pokemonish looking creature uh, in the, the real world. Thing, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That one. What is that? I don't remember what it's called but I'll find it and I'll let you know. By the way, this is the pokemon that I was talking about. It's kind of like transparent at the end of this thing, this blue color uh-huh. area that you see, right? Uh-huh. It's kind of transparent and it's kind of it'll shoot these babies through this rocket. I was not even kidding, dude. <laughs> somebody was high beyond imagination <laughs> and they <laughs> wrote the <laughs> thing you're searching for marker is e l a u c u s atlanticus that has a different name that has a easier name to go blue with blue dragon actually. blue dragon yeah hey so we'll just blue dragon it. yeah just look for it google image search it and get it on stream maybe oh that uh, okay okay yeah i yeah i've seen it You seen that? Yeah. Multiple. But hands. um I was ooh. actually trying to create Kyogre with this thing this reference. Yeah, I think Kyogre is kind of based off of this because like there's so many things that kind of look similar. Yeah, this is the one. That... I don't think 
uh, I don't know if there's any aspect of this we can use in the creation of this creature right now, but um, I mean, if there is, the, like, uh, surface thing. It yeah, for surface details. Flat, yeah. Okay, but yeah, but this, this is structure very small that you see here, mind. right? Yeah, that's for wing attachment. Like, what are the jellyfish at attachment that you have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would look good. Yeah, but I have to look at it from the side view, like how it actually attaches, or is it like a thin membrane kind of layer, or is it like a... There's a there are videos of this on YouTube, so you can actually check that out to get a better idea. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll be more prepared next time, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, maybe next time we shouldn't say, okay, in the next 10 minutes we'll um, yeah. <laughs> like live stream. We'll figure out everything on the Yeah. <laughs> That's this fine. was a little impromptu. I mean, that's fine, dude. It's more fun that way. You can have a more, yeah, you can have a more interesting conversation. Uh, yeah. Man conversation. <laughs> like, no point in hitting the markets which are already hit. Ha, I see what you mean. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm just imagining, like, uh, I'm just going to, okay, never mind, never mind, I'm not going to put it that way, but, oh, like, somebody okay. speaking in the lines of, what? Do it! Yeah, do it, bro. Okay. It, it's but, my channel, do it. Yeah, okay, <laughs> so, when this blows up, when, when this blows up, some two random people speaking to each other dude let's go watch that video from that guy who does weird conversations <laughs> while sculpting uh, <laughs> that shit was fun <laughs> when we were high i don't know <laughs> yeah that's the audience you should be trying to hit uh, <laughs> <laughs> Damn, yeah. like not even artist right they're just high and watching shit yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there are better people to watch for actual proper shit yeah <laughs> I actually like the new people who joined here, right? I actually had like one of the guys to subscribe to it. I, oh, plugged, oh, I, shit. Okay. I plugged my channel and like, dude, I'm doing this. No, no, no. <laughs> you better watch it or else yeah. it'll not end. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so I'm plugging it everywhere now. Go for it, dude. Advertise. I'm going shamelessly advertise. Ooh, that shit. You need more belly for this guy, right? It looks like kind of fat here. Like yeah. Komodo dragon. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He has uh, something like this. The COVID-19 boy. <laughs> the, 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 the. What? What? Are the muscle structures on the hands in the concept art resembling closer to that of a human's human. anatomy? Just asking. Yep, yep, yep. Very, yep. very close to human anatomy. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you won't want to do that. Like, uh, your call, but um, keeping it something closer to that of an animal itself, like a yeah. Komodo dragon itself, more than a jack dude's hands would make more sense. Or look, kind of better i'll try to the easier one which i have more practice the hands remind me a lot of that creature from underwater actually uh yeah i saw that dude that that kind of looks cool wait did but... that movie come out actually Is it... yeah, yeah i did it came out long back. Very silent. I, I don't think it came in india though it uh, came out very silently and it went away, like clint said but i don't think it came out in india i mean there was some issue with the thing right what was that I don't know what the issue was, but it took a long time to come out. Two years. But it changed for some reason, but I don't know why. Mm. What is that thing called, anyways? Uh, Cthulhu. I don't know that, what it's called. Was that Cthulhu? I don't think that's Cthulhu, I, dude. It's the, it depends on how you make it's it. It's a proper Cthulhu reference, but it's called something else in the movie. I think it's called Behemoth in the movie. The okay. behemoth just means big. The yeah, style yeah. is a proper. It is legitimately what 
the Cthulhu monster looks like. Nah, that's just the head, dude. Uh, the Cthulhu monster basically is on huge thing with like that weird to tentacle mouth. Squid and face. It is literally that thing. Squid face. Okay, yeah. I see what you mean. It's just yeah. lacking wings. Mm. I mean, again, it depends on how you make it. Uh, you can make your own concept of Cthulhu, right? So that's true. I mean, if Lovecraft was an ass and all, but... I was I was about to ask by any chance has anybody read anything by H. P. Lovecraft? I have read a little bit, but then I, I wanted to at one point in time, but I heard like a, by a lot of people that it's tough to follow and stuff. So I just never ended up. Follow and there's the a lot of racism. Lot of racism. Okay. He was a big racist bigot. Yeah, but this is from a time period where, like, that was the cultural norm. So <laughs> there were people who didn't like it back then too. Just, oh, okay. It was it was during the time when the, the norm was changing. So there were people on both who were against it. Okay. I have no Most idea what my... people are talking about. Dude, H.P. Lovecraft is basically Star this um, guy who wrote books and kind of um, brought in the new form of horror called cosmic horror. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, so basically, I, if I'm correct, Rick and Morty is based off of cosmic horror as well. It's more than like jump scares. It's more like um, it's the fear playing with your mind. Unknown. Yeah, fear of the unknown. Yeah. So it's like what could happen or like what if um, or like what could be there types and like uh-huh, his uh-huh. biggest monster in uh, that he ever wrote or like his biggest fictional ma- uh, monster that he ever created is this thing called Cthulhu I don't th- know if that's the biggest okay. or what but it's the most famous and um, uh-huh. it's like uh, it's supposed to be uh, this world ending monster or something like that so there are a lot uh, okay. in Rick and Morty's um, this thing uh, title track right every title uh-huh. track towards the ending the three of them are in the spaceship and they're flying away and this big monster is chasing them that's based off of yeah. Cthulhu why has that not happened in an episode yet I want that episode I know right that sounds so much fun they're basically stealing Cthulhu's baby I always thought that was a brilliant idea but I never got to see it maybe something they'll probably, for do, they'll probably do it soon <laughs> we never know no, dude, like, I don't know. They, 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 they've they showed so much stuff in their title track, which they never ended up uh, putting in any episode. So I've kind of given up hope. I mean, there now. was this anime rule, right? You keep something from, like, season one. You keep something which is which doesn't there. Like, it's not even there on the series. I mean, the storyline. Or yeah. the title track. Yeah. So it's probably that. Or maybe they are, uh, you know, keeping it for future thing. Which could come. I don't know, man. I mean, but either a... ways, it's like I don't know. To be really honest, my interest has kind of died down on yeah, it. Like it's yeah. not as much as it used to be. So I don't know. So Even there's if they do, a guy I work with in eccentrics. Um, uh huh. He does like really stylized work and all right now, and he made a pretty cool take on Rick and Morty. Um, let's send you the name. It's on Art Station or something? Should be on his Art Station also, but I'm just gonna tell you the Insta handle and you can check it from there. Oh, how long have you been doing this? Uh, let me just check. I think you've streamed for a total of 1 hour and 15 minutes right now. I think. Huh. It's a how come trend. Google Meet still holding up? You know, I'm surprised. Google Meets kind of shuts down after one hour or something like that. Have you paid for this? Nope. nope, nope. Sunil? No, no. I have not paid for it. I no. have no idea. Uh, how to not... Search for From Knucklehead. Spell that out. From Ninja? Ninja. Naruto. Spell, spell the first word what you said. From F R O N. Okay. From Knucklehead. Wait, who's Nakhla? Shout out to this dude. I think I shouted him out last time also. And I was on. Wait, who's uh, Nakhla in Naruto? Fucking Naruto, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's the knuckle, number one knucklehead ninja or some shit, right? It was there in the initial. Nope. Yeah, yeah. Is that not? Uh-huh. His uh, 
Oh, I, I see what you mean. Okay. Shit, this this is really good. Yeah, right. Damn, that's so where, cool. Where are you seeing this? Instagram. Instagram. I've shared yeah. it on the my screen. You can. See is it. the 2D work his as well? No, the 2D work is uh, he's tagged it some at. Oh yeah, Facebook. yeah. Wait, Clint, are you streaming as well right now? Yeah, I'm sharing oh, my. Oh, thanks. No, no, I'm not streaming I, on my channel. I mean, do that. It'll be fun, dude. Uh, I have, dude, my system will explode as is. It's running at a, like a snail pace. Oh man, he has his uh, avatar as well. It's all stylized work, but it looks damn. Oh, good. that that one I've seen. So yeah. This is what I want to do, dude. Guys, so good. So good. I had like really good idea for avatar, but like there's no time to it. Uh, avatar as in Ang. 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 Yeah. Ang, Ang. Yeah. That is the only avatar you should speak of. <laughs> yeah. Not that blue weird stuff. Huh? <laughs> what? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> blue weird stuff. That's funny way of describing it, dude. <laughs> blue dude. Stuff. Yo, uh, back to the thing on topic. What the fuck is this thing? What thing? Look at my screen. Uh, it's kind of tough, dude. You're a very small thumbnail, so. Okay, I have do, do, wait, wait. I'll I'll make you full screen. No, don't make me full screen. Just... You're, you're on full screen. Go okay. Ahead. I mean, you are working on that edge itself. I was gonna ask you. Am I not able to see this or what? I'm not. I, I am doing. I I am doing it on stream. I am doing it doing it on stream, not on the. I'm watching it on my phone on YouTube also. Oh, that yeah. might I might be the third person. <laughs> oh, on YouTube. Oh man, I just realized. Yeah. Oh shit, I'm one of the people as well. <laughs> <laughs> no one's watching. Oh shit. Okay, uh, I am the fourth one then. <laughs> <laughs> so I was talking about this. Oh shit, it's just, it's just oh. us that's watching, is it? God damn. I mean, there were like six people or something. Someone left, and I've not sent it to anyone. This link today. So okay. Dheeraj at least. Kartikeyan and Jugal. That that was long back, I think. So I yeah. was uh, asking about that area which you're working on in the head. Oh, this this one here. Has, the second I part. I see you've done. It looks good. Yeah. I it's mean, a creative process, dude. You give it time. Like he has something in his head that he's gonna sculpt out. So. So he's got some crazy talent, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No yeah. doubt about that. We, we agree, bro. Everyone here agrees. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. You don't have to like do that. <laughs> You're undermining yourself by doing that. <laughs> I'm just making fun, dude. You know, you don't have to be serious in life. You should make fun of yourself. Only then you learn to love yourself. <laughs> Someone change the screen to black and white and play some piano music quick. What? I didn't ah. the joke. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I'll move on. I didn't follow the reference. What were you getting at, Clint? He's calling me emo and sad, bro. Yep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn. And the the thing is, this is the only guy I, uh, I could speak to at work right now. There's no one else to it. It's very. What are you getting at, Sunil? Frustrated. Yeah, are you trying to say I'm a cool person, or like you have to deal with me? I don't know. What I have to deal with you. I mean, you're the <laughs> only person at work. Right I'm coming and spending five hours in SP road with you. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Again, we went for the your your system thing, but you didn't buy it. So, yeah. By the way, I even asked for monitor, dude. Uh, twenty-four inch, one forty-four hertz. He's saying like around fifteen k or something for Dell. Hey, you local people, you get a local person who is also in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you guys actually know any place that you can get all this system-related stuff officially, which isn't shady, like. Uh, Espiro. Like Espiro, Espiro. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why don't you just order it online or something? I don't know. No, like, I would say go by to, go to the official store or uh, try. Like, what were you looking for? I want to make my entire PC. Bro, like, oh, um, I want to make a PC. 
do technically hey, whatever you get it sp road right it's like just don't go by the name because like um uh, uh, there are people who actually have official stores in sp road like you have, have official dell stores there and shit so you will get official products as well i mean everything like that you buy right make sure they are under warranty and you are good wherever you are buying from yeah that's that's pretty much what you're looking for and um that it comes in a sealed box yeah, that's all i'm by, saying buy buy a good branded stuff like power supply and everything they'll try to sell you some other stuff but don't do don't buy those try to buy some brand stuff he was trying to sell you that uh, smps right thank you to magnolia sunil come with me next weekend uh you people are buying no no ask me once just... you decide to buy something dude i i i don't trust you that you'll buy anything right now so did you ask just don't um, ask him how much does it really cost when you were there sorry so what was that repeat did you uh by any chance when you went that did you ask him how much the 30 ad cost no oh no no it's not it's still expensive as fuck dude don't buy that Thirty-eight years. Not expensive. yet. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. I think it's, like it's here's the thing. If you want to use ZBrush or something, right? Buy some yeah. something called GTX or something, just to use Tell your computer. Something which you can buy, which can hold me over till when the GTX drops. Yeah, that that's what I'm saying. Buy for like eight K or ten K graphics card for now, but you will be able to do everything. I mean, like work in ZBrush and everything. Uh, with, what is that graphics card? The anything like GTX? No, when it comes, you have to spoon feed the shit. GTX 1060, 1050, or anything like that. Get like a 1050 or a 1050 Ti. Maybe oh, I think the newer ones are 1060 now, right? Uh, no, newer ones are RTX 3000 series. But I don't know where you are. No, right. as in I'm speaking about the mid-range stuff, bro. Not like even mid-range. Stuff. I think I like GTX don't come near anything. You not even like at the lower end. It's completely gone. Oh. Shit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bro, so, like um I'm honestly saying BK would be somebody who you would want to speak to once regarding the stuff he just made the major purchase of some graphic cards. Like when I say major he spent like a lot of money. Yeah, and, that's what he don't want to do that right now. That's yeah, I know, I know, but he'll have the he'll have information to help you out maybe. Yeah. Basically it's not a good time to buy graphics card right yeah, now. Yeah, that's true. Nice. It's not been a good time from a year, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not going to be changing anytime soon either. It's like the whole trend of like that Bitcoin mining is going up, and like lot of no, people no, are buying. No, no, it's actually. Just, I was about to say, it's I'm getting probably going to have to pull out my Bitcoin money to actually <laughs> yeah. afford. It. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't know, dude. I won't recommend it. It's like um. I don't know dude I just I just have information about this of other people's knowledge so I don't know enough about it to tell you for sure Bitcoin just But hit an all time high just yesterday Yeah so all time high. What is it at right now I don't have any money on Bitcoin 70k I think 70k what are you saying dude it's like even wait you... Oh my god dude it's Eighty-two thousand. Yeah. It hit an all-time. Oh time. damn! Okay. Everybody is. There are people considering selling everything, but I don't know shit, bro. Like, if Jugal is still listening, the chat is probably gonna be freaking out right now. No, nope, he's not. He's not. <laughs> but it's just like one guy trying to build a bubble around that thing, dude. I'm sure, like. Dude, that is just like I'm still not able to go get over it, dude. I don't have any money on Bitcoin right now. <laughs> But uh, I mean, it's a it's a gamble, right? It is a gamble, but like right now, it would be in the good side of the gamble. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I have some money in it. I might. I I'm tempted to just keep it. But then... see, when there's a there's a golden rule when it comes to gambling. Not investment, gambling. Quit while you're ahead. <laughs> But you'll never know when you're ahead, dude. No, you will know when you're ahead. For sure. You will know I mean, when you're ahead. You, you can... will not know if you're gonna get more ahead. That's yeah. what like kind of yeah. screws you over. 
that's where I'm at right now. I, I joined this thing just to keep money for a long time. And like, mm-hmm. hopefully my retirement will be handy. <laughs> no, 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 dude, don't go with that. I don't know, dude, like cryptocurrency is not that stable. It's a little dicey. I don't know. Think about yeah, it, man. Ethereum and Bitcoin is quite stable. Everything else is not good. Stable. I would not say it's stable, but okay. I mean, compared to actual investments, no. Let's not okay. speak about this. I'll we are, change the stream. No, no, I'll change the t- title for the stream saying like your, what is that? Uh, investment <laughs> uh, information or something. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sunil. Investment 101. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, if, if, if somebody watches this for investment 101, no, I just feel bad for their poor soul, bro. Like, <laughs> probably going to be those high dudes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's an actually pretty good idea, dude. I should target those audience. <laughs> Go for it. Nobody is saying no. So I kind of like it from the side view. You see this right structure? Maybe like fix the connection. Mm-hmm. But I kind of like how it looks. The, yeah, thing. yeah. I'm and with you on that. So maybe make it a little more bigger. You might like, I mean, it's still too early, but like, um, it's kind of throwing off some mushroom vibes. Yeah. I think that's because it's all soft edges and yeah, like yeah. the tentacles are missing. Maybe that's the reason more than anything else. Yeah. And even the shape is not proper round right now, right? It's kind of yeah. a weird mushroom shape. So I'll have it's... it like a doom kind of thing. Like once we yeah. are there. But just for the block out thing, I I kind of like this thing. I like yes. it too, dude. I like it too. It like it kind of looks good, and you have something going on. It's like it doesn't look as funny as it was in the beginning of the yeah. stream. So, I think uh, I have to uh, take it to Maya and do a reference match from the front view because I'm not sure Maybe. about the proportions. I just, might have uh, to decide yeah. on that. One thing that like uh, kind of hits strikes me, right? I mean, uh, uh, this may be too early again still, but I'm not. Uh, either ways, I'm putting it out there. It's like, can you can you just zoom in a little bit closer to the head? Yeah. I feel like it's too vertically long. Um, I think maybe it would ha- you oh. want to make it like, yeah, like yeah. um, uh, but I think that will make a you'll have a big difference once you kind of make its mouth open or something. Like once yeah, you have yeah. that set in, it'll look very different. But um, as of right now, it looks like a Maybe. Tall face. Yeah, it is. It maybe the this uh, top structure, right? Yeah. Ah, see, see. Oh, damn! Yeah. That looks so much better already. Yeah, and even maybe this is like too much. It should be more flat. I would say. Yeah, because you'll be adding that bulb in but, there. Yeah. Huh. If yeah. I'm just thinking, if if at all, I mean that bulb does look cool in the artwork, huh. but if at all. Um, we can get away without it. I wouldn't mind it, to be honest. <laughs> or if we have any other better ideas, I wouldn't mind it as well. I mean, let's but, see how it um, works, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, this looks better. This this would have taken me at least like two streams to figure it out. But if there's other person looking at it, right? It only takes uh-huh. like two minutes to it. Yeah. Hey, boys, I am going to bow out because I am going to watch Dune in a bit. Okay, man. Get ready. Cool, cool. cool. Are you coming on Monday to work? To work? Yeah. yeah. Why, not? Why wouldn't I? Hey, uh, uh, Sunil, just uh, asking. You've been streaming for about one and a half hours now. You want to... Um... I mean, I'm having fun, dude. Like, if Okay, then talk, we can go on. Um, we can go on. I don't what, mind. What is the time Mate, for before you? Before you go, to ask for subscribers. It's yeah, 10.30 right you, Varga is going to do that now. Yay. Yeah, no, I thought you were sticking around and sculpting for longer. So it's all good. Uh, I mean, we can drop out anytime. I don't yeah, know. if you're sculpting for some more time, we can do that and then drop out after a little, after yeah. a bit maybe. I don't mind. Um, And don't worry, I'll I'll do the whole yeah. subscribe, Marty, please. It's, it's weird. Weird. That's it's very, me. very shitty interpretation of this. Oh wait, 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 wait. Let me put no, it on the no. screen. Wait. No. Bye. No. Ah. Uh, oh, you may okay, that's in reference. I thought this is the final one that you did, and I was like, what? God <laughs> damn. I wish. Yeah. I mean Does that... it look good? I can't see, dude. Sunil doesn't yeah. look better than yours. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, no. <laughs> no like shit. I'll tell you it looks like shit. Oh, Calvin, is uh, this your render that you've been doing for some time? No, it's not. 
Oh, he is speaking yeah. about his Instagram story. Dinesh, dude, you randomly okay. go from here to there. Okay. Where did this come from? Nothing. I I don't know why my camera is not turning. What are we looking at? What are you looking at right now? I have no idea, bro. Okay, this is the this guy's on oh, the mine. All right, boys. Bye bye. Okay, man. Bye, dude. Take care. Yeah. Bye, Carlton. Bye, Carlton. Do you want to do subscribe before going? Please subscribe to Sunil's high podcast. Uh, no, no. Investing in Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah, there's no point of doing it here. Go to the people you have sent link to and tell them. <laughs> Because uh, no. sent it to whoever was relevant, I guess. Yeah. My mom was watching this for a while. Oh shit! shit. <laughs> I was just praying to God this doesn't reach my parents. Right <laughs> <laughs> then. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right, man. Bye bye. Good night. Whoa! There was a lot of noise coming in from Clint's channel. No? Channel. I mean, from his, uh, from his output. Oh yeah, yeah, from. yeah. Suddenly, I was like, "Where's, where's the silence coming Noise. from?" Noise. Yep. Mm-hmm. Dude, dude, this neck yeah, is putting me off. Like it's lot. too much. I think maybe you'd want to shorten the neck. In, yeah, that's like, what... general. Or, okay. or it could be like how you said earlier, a perspective thing. So, like instead of shortening it, if you kind of bend the entire body and push it more backwards, the neck length could remain the same, mm. and um, that way, like the head would also look bigger than the body. But yeah. uh, that's just something to maybe try and see if it works. It works. If not, like just yeah. shorten the length. I think it should be shorter. Like if you look at the this thing as a creature, right, as a character. Yeah. Like this. Yeah, it would make more sense if it's kind of like a little bit shorter. I think. Mhm. That's how I look it. Like I'll put it in the flat thing, like this kind of thing. Mhm. Like how it should be. Then I'll just yeah. judge it like this. Does this look okay to you? As a neck thing. Can you zoom in a little bit more? Yeah. To I mean, be honest, it kind of looks alright, dude. I'm. I think it looks okayish, mm-hmm. but um. Hey, the moment you put it this way, right? Because both the hands and the legs are kind of facing backwards, I feel like it's swimming or something yeah, like that. Yeah. And uh, I'm like, why is the head looking downwards? And yeah. yeah, it's kind of tough to imagine that. But yeah, I think it looks kind of fine. Let's keep it like this for now and try yeah. to put everything together because this thing, this will change a lot. The wings, right? Yeah. For the in overall structure, will change a lot. Let's try to Can add. You... Hmm. Can you just try to add in the wings right now, like yep. a very basic block or something somehow? Yeah, there's the next thing that I was doing, and I was saying like once okay. we are done with this, maybe call it done for today. And yeah, yeah. I'll try to figure out what to do for the next stream actually, like have a proper reference or something, so I'm not randomly yeah. doing stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. I'll try to get in as many references from my side for you as possible. Yep. I don't know how much of that would help, but um, that will be your call. Is Dinesh still on this uh, call, by the way? I am. I am here, bro. I'm here, bro. Speak. Oh, okay. I'm waiting. I'm waiting so that I can share my screen here. You can, dude. Um, I can. Yeah. On it Google. won't come on stream, I believe. No, I no, think no, it only won't. Sunil will see yeah. it, but um. Google Meet. Yeah, account. only Sunil will see it. That's the problem. Yeah. Wait, then... if I share it on Google Meet, I don't think only Sunil will see it. No, that's what I'm saying. Share it on the Google Meet. It should be fine. Nobody will see this thing. Secrets. Share this. But yeah. maybe just do it after the thing itself. Too. I don't know. He's sharing it. You can have a look yeah, at the Google no. Meet. Too late. Too, Too late. late. You can look at the Google Meet. It's fine. I mean, ignore oh, the head. substance, huh? Okay. Yeah. Can you saying you he'll do goblin in the substance sense tomorrow? I'm hey, not, bro. I kind of got comfortable with substance in the last two days. I oh, like, oh did you guys see the projection in substance? This projection uh, in substance. In a new one. Three D projection. Yeah, new one. I That's not, gonna drop. Not. Dude, I mean, like, not in substance. Did you watch the trailer or anything for that? No, no, I have not. Is it that good? 
Oh, dude, it is far superior to what um, Mari has. And to be honest, I'm considering switching everything over to Substance because like it just makes I'm so much more fancy. sense. Ch- check out the, check out the YouTube clip of uh, Substance from uh, Adobe afterwards. Oh, uh, Substance is by Adobe, no, by the way. When is this coming out though? I don't know, but it looks really, really good. Like the 3D warp. Just looks really uh-huh. good. Oh, oh, yeah, that I've seen. That I've seen, dude. Yeah, that's yeah, I what remember. I was speaking yeah. of. The that's skin thing that he'll do, right? Yeah, skin yeah, protection. on the face. Yeah, yeah. Like the ears and all, he just maps it out in the side. He just pulls it out and it just comes into place. Dude, it is beautiful. Yeah, I remember. And oh, dude, Dinesh, just yeah, speaking bro. about it, it's like, this looks good, man. But um, maybe we can speak a little bit more about it once the call is done. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm once the stream is done, my screen, I'm gonna stop sharing this so that oh, that looks that looks cool. By the way, I just got an idea, dude. Looking uh, this thing, this guy from the top view, right? Uh huh. Would uh-huh. you look at that? Uh, Can you share your screen again, so Like your screen is not being shared. Okay, like, okay. It's there, bro. It's still there. Oh yeah. Okay, I, I can't. Wait, I I have to resume it. Resume presenting. Oh yeah, yeah, it's here now. So basically, um, from the top view, if you look at it, right, and if yeah. you make that like a stingray or like this thing, right, it looks yeah, like a shooting okay. arrow. You get it, like. Uh huh. I, I see what you mean. Structure is going to be super cool, like this, dude. And yeah, imagine yeah, adding on top of that, yeah. So like, if you make it, even like it arrow, even has the tail for that. It's just that yeah. there's an extra added head or something. Yeah. I mean, yeah, even it, even good. the head, like if you make it straight, right, like facing it forward, become a pointy thing. Yeah, yeah, that look really cool. Oh, you know what that look like? Ah, what is that crab called? Uh, um, there's a crab that comes only in the night, on the beach, and it goes back in. Uh, um, sure. they they literally milk that crab because that has some uh, medical properties that uh, people in the medical field used for something um mm-hmm. bro that's supposed to be like one of those um crabs that's been around since when dinosaurs were there uh yeah damn if i might have seen it uh, but i don't remember you have you have but i have forgotten not milk uh, they take its blood out and horseshoe crab oh yeah 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 i've seen it it's like a shell thing that'll go in. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, so why, do, why have it, I seen this weird stuff to that? Like sometimes I'm like, what the hell am I doing? Yeah, I know what you mean, but it would have popped up somewhere or the other discovery, National Geographic, or like random image oh, searches this? here and there. And then um, YouTube. Yeah, yeah that you know, only... reminds me of this. Reminds me of some football Pokemon, bro. <laughs> yeah, Kabuto. Oh, yeah. yeah. Kabuto, yeah. I had a nightmare yeah. of this thing once in my fuck. That was bad. <laughs> I, I'll tell dude, you. I'll tell you. Like, you, want was... you want nightmares? You want nightmares? It's bad like bad. <laughs> check out this thing called um a coconut crab. Oh shit! Yeah, fucking weird, dude. Dude, forget <laughs> the weird <laughs> part. The everything that it does is haunting, dude. It climbs up trees. It's on huge crab. It has it's claws that can just. It's big. Coconut crab. Yeah, and it's big actually, like really big. Oh, that's huge. Yeah, exactly. And it's not like yeah. just, like just, just like thin and big. It's like it's on thick boy. It can actually hurt you if it wants. Yeah. To. And it can it climb to. up trees, uh-huh. dude. It climbs up trees. Oh, that looks shit. Oh, this is in Australia. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, oh fuck, it's in Australia. Oh fuck, you're in Australia. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's like, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bro. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. Shit. Shit. Ah, look at this. What what brush are you using to pull it like that? It's called a snake hook. So oh, you're can, using snake hook itself, yeah, is it? Yeah, pull it like forever. But what I'm doing is I'm turned on, uh, I have turned on the uh, sculptress. So basically, according to your <clears throat> brush size, right, it'll yeah. add resolution on the mesh. Oh, that's why I was asking because generally that stuff should start to disappear or yeah. merge inside itself or something yeah. like that. Yeah, so I'm like keeping it like this and I, if I keep pulling it right, yeah, I can pull it forever. Like Oh, okay. How did you do that? Can you just show that once? That's under, damn cool. Under uh, this thing stroke, right? 
turn on yeah sculptris pro okay oh okay and that is all like if i turn it off right here right so uh-huh it will go like this but if i do it like this it'll go like this and oh the resolution okay of the mesh depends on your brush like if i make it small right look at the resolution but if i make it big right look at this yeah oh shit yeah yeah i see i see yeah the difference okay it's super cool I didn't know this was available. This is available after certain uh, version uh, or something. It's twenty twenty, twenty twenty two twenty twenty should be available. Okay. It's an old, not like very recent thing. I wonder what I'm using. Um, I'm not using it, but okay. I have twenty twenty point one point four. Okay. Yeah, Some... it should be there. Kind of outdated. Yeah, on your default, uh, this thing right. If you are not change your uh, UI right. It mm. should be at the top here, by default. Okay. Near that light box. Okay. I haven't gotten around to much sculpting. I don't have a place for my tablet right now. Oh, like, this is too yeah. big. Whoa. Yeah, I don't have a table for that. Still, like, I have. A, I'm working on a small table, so. Do show this from front. What does it look like right now? It's too big, I think. The uh, this thing, right? Yeah, it is too big, and, and I think you'd have to angle it as rounder. well. Yep, yep. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna do that. Worried about uh, this thing resolution. That literally looks like a cape right now. Yeah, I actually want this to come a little bit forward, like this. Maybe like from side view, right? Uh huh. Instead of this being there, I want this to come like forward, maybe. Yeah, 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 Wrapping yeah. I would like to see that days. too. I was about to suggest that, like, yeah. instead of like going completely back, yeah. something more, some like like this maybe. Yeah, but um, yeah, like uh, more like instead of that curve, that no, the thing. bone structure that you're putting up, uh, instead of that kind of bending backwards, like maybe... you mean like this curve should be forward like this. Yeah, inwards. I think I don't know if that would work well or not. Like imagine like a folded cloth, like yeah, yeah. Um, that's kind of coming in, but the um, what do you call this? The mesh that's coming in as the jelly structure is actually bending outwards and going outwards. Something like this. Yeah, but uh, I don't know if that would how that would work. Um, hold up, let me just take a look at the artwork once more, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm not able to explain what. Um... Okay, so yeah, okay, uh, it's kind of here. Can you just zoom into the artwork on the left side of the wing? Uh, my left or screen left is the same thing. Screen okay. left, screen yeah. left. Yeah, yeah, both the both the same the thing. Same you thing. see how that small triangular part on the left? Yeah, uh, left a little bit up this up. up? in the middle part of that arm this yeah one? yeah you yeah. see that yeah you see how that's coming kind of inwards yeah yeah so if that bone structure that you're making or i mean uh, for now i'm calling it bone structure uh. but if that's coming more inwards and like the jellyfish structure itself is going okay got it, got it. i think i think got it so you're saying like the end structure right it'll actually end here then the yeah the back yeah, side will yeah, go there. yeah 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 yeah. So this exactly. till here it's coming forward, then it'll go back and like wrap it around. Exactly. The... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it. I get what you're saying. So basically the, the connection. So like if you're breaking this part here, right? Uh -huh. So like this part is coming here, then this area is actually going backward. So this this area here is actually yeah. this thing. Exactly. Yeah. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. That that's exactly what I meant actually. Yep. Yep. Got it. So so you're saying like blah 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 here, then it'll go backward like that. But yeah. it sh it should be more rounder actually in a sense. Yeah. Like it, so it should be more flowy, like you can't yeah. have sharper. Yeah. And the entire structure should be like round like this, right? Yeah. Yep. Makes sense. Right? It's kind of a weird thing to get in 3D actually. It's I, I'm confused right now. Yeah, <laughs> your brain kinda can't wrap around like what you're yeah. trying to so basically achieve. i think the better way to do it actually make it like round structure like that then cut it out from there 
Yeah, exactly. So if you took in a sphere and deleted parts of yeah. it, that would probably be easier for you to work with. Yep, yep. Probably. Yep. That that's why we should have people on stream, bro. A lot more easier to figure this stuff out. So even the wait, can I make a half sphere from here? Uh, never mind. That would be a question only you would be able to answer. In the stream, uh, right? <laughs> doable, but uh, don't go there. Do, do, do. Wait, so basically, if I did do, do, do take it out so from here and something like here, then go back like yeah. that. Yeah. Hmm. I'm confused, dude. I'm very confused right now. <laughs> Ah, that's because it's still looking very much like a ball and it shouldn't. Yeah. Yeah, that's the only reason. The so idea is it... like this, right? So basically, yeah. it'll come. Yeah. The, the circle should come close here, but exactly. it's open here. Like if we try to uh, uh, take this here, right? It should uh, become a complete circle, which will close. Exactly. Like yeah. yeah. Yep, yep. I got the idea. Not gonna lie, dude. You're like, I mean, except for the sphere that you just added in, the rest of it is actually coming in together quite well. Looks quite nice. Yeah. I need a lot of work. We'll work on it. Sure. But yeah, dude, this thing, I think I'm gonna have to, like, you know, do some experiment and figure this out. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That because I don't want, sense. like, it, it makes sense if it's floating, but I want this to be actually attached here at the back mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. make, it, make it look like that thing, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if I do that, it'll become weird in a sense. Bro, do you think it would work if you, you, if you treat it as two separate pieces? That's what you were speaking I, about earlier. Yeah. It's like we can oh. do it as two separate pieces, but um, in that, oh wait. Um, so what right what we were talking about right now? The problem is, should this be attached to the body here from the back side, or should that be a like a floating thing if like here? If it gets attached to the body, right? You can make it like uh, two separate, like the shapes that you're doing. I mean, yeah, so shape is fine. We can keep it separate. That is fine. But how that should be? Should we make it like this, which is like kind of floating from the backside? Or should we attach it to the body uh, itself? To the yeah. back or something. Yeah. Uh, regarding that, right? It's like, um, I'm just going back to that uh, sea angel again. It has these two weird wing structures that come out of it in uh, that sea angel, right? So I'm just... Uh, where is mm. the right over here? It's tiny thing like this one. Yeah, yeah, those two things. Mm. I'm just wondering if we can somehow kind of try and incorporate that kind of a look in the back. If if we were to do it as two separate wings, mm. but um, I don't know. I'm still thinking if like that would be the better way to go about it, or if it being one entire piece and working as one cape make more sense. Yeah. Like, I mean, even if it's a cape, right? Should that be floating or should that be attached to like this? Which is like, which which one makes more sense? Like if it's not attached, right? So or you could also have like two meshes maybe. The lower part is attached to the body and there's one more which is like... Floating on top of this thing? Going softly like, yeah, that maybe, I don't know, maybe that could also work. It would look weird in the modeling stage, but when it goes translucent or semi-transparent, I'm might just, look better. Yeah, I mean, if, this is definitely not working out, right? That I mean, I'm sure. just, I'm just shooting out my ideas. Yeah, yeah, no, that that sounds good. Like, and it's good that you shot that idea out because I don't know. I'm just thinking, um, as well, out loud right now. Um, imagine like, um, I'm just trying to remember what that animal was called. Basically, they have they have these triangular wings that come out from the side, which it kind of moves around to swim so instead of adding in like a complete jellyfish structure if that would make more sense but the, or if that would look, make it look good but, i mean i think this is not working out the attachment thing right yeah if, if you're doing um, on the body itself i don't i i'm I, i'm not liking this that it looks true, very but, flat from side i think 
just one one more thing that's kind of occurring to me right um mm-hmm. it's like if you look at the artwork again the main artwork um this is kind of combining a bunch of things that i've been thinking about it's like the thicker um regions of the skin that is closer to the body emit more glow than the further away regions yeah, that is not I mean, like, attached to the body it's like the glow is from the spine itself the center of yeah. the body right yeah so if you go from that point of view it's like you see that glow coming out on both sides of the wing yeah. where um it's kind of bright and it's kind of so that, that is glow. That, so in that, that would, sense it attached to the yeah the it would be yeah. attached to the spine or something i don't know i'm just still thinking mm-hmm. but um dude uh this is just my suggestion i don't know i say we can maybe just um, Wait, but, cut off the wings for now call yeah. it like the end and like think about it and maybe yeah. start again some other time but here the thing even here right it does make sense it is like mm-hmm. definitely attached from here mm-hmm. but we are talking about this area oh yeah yeah i see so uh, technically it should be like this it'll break off and it should not be attached but here looking at this membrane right it mm, looks like it's definitely it's attached to the attached side. to the body yeah. yeah or is it like this going around this thing semi transparent no it's uh, hard to tell it's very hard to tell uh, i'm thinking this entire thing is actually round structure but the body is visible through the this thing but i don't think that it is like that i don't know i'm kind of getting a feeling that it may be attached to the body also yeah uh, i uh, think yeah i'll try and, different stuff and see if that works yeah, yeah and sure. one more thing that i just kind of observed right which is which kind of is a small like observation which kind of pushes th- thoughts again um if you zoom into the reference image is left wing right hmm Mm. so you see those two bone kind of structures going in the fin mm-hmm. there yeah. this one those... to the bottom to the bottom towards the top. bottom huh. yeah the you hole. see those two brighter regions near the hole bro in the yeah, wing yeah yeah, yeah near yeah. the hole yeah yeah that that's kind of giving me like that bat wing kind of a vibe like Um, oh I, i don't think that it is because not when i say batwing like don't imagine completely batwing i'm uh, saying like um like a wing type instead of a jellyfish yeah yeah got it got covering it covering yeah. type but um i don't know it's something that uh, probably we'd have to actually see what i i I, i got one more idea actually okay i think it it's coming from round and could that be like it's from the front side right this is only the front view of this thing where it is attached to the arm if mm-hmm. you see this thing right mm-hmm. it's actually both of these are coming to hand the hand or the legs hand the like back front the limbs. back front limbs if you say this right this is ending right uh, here but if you look at the other side it's also ending right here at the end of this thing near l uh, uh, yeah i just, I see what you mean but I have no idea how that would be modeled. Uh or how that would even work physically to be honest. I mean yeah it could be modeled but like uh but again or like, maybe I'm not able to picture what you're trying to explain I'm sorry. So basically this thing that coming here right yeah. if you look at the both side it's ending at the same place near the hand which uh-huh. is the front limb. So yeah. it uh, it could be that it's actually attached to the front limb but it's starting at the shoulder going yeah. around and attach the front limb again is it yeah i mean like this thing right if you like a webbed uh, like um, if you look at this thing right imagine this area coming here and attaching there like something like this. yeah i i got that but i don't uh, i don't think it is like that Yeah even I don't think it's like that that would be a little too Yeah but only the attachment here right like if you look at this thing right it's actually yeah. ending at the same place so. To be honest I think that's a coincidence more than anything else Out of topic um those fingernails let's not do that let's not do those yeah, very yeah. long wavy yep. fingernails Yep it's a little so weird we, Can we go into the reference ones like near the elbows uh, It's yep. not connected right 
Yeah, dude, if you that uh, Dinesh has a point. If you look at the elbows and all, you can kind of see the silhouette of the hand. It yeah. will definitely not be connected. It will not be connected to the yeah. forearms for sure. I mean, the front top mm-hmm. hands at least. If at all anything, it may be connected towards the body, towards the lower part of the yeah. body. There's the thing. It could be here or it could be, be here. somewhere here. Yeah, yeah. So... Or it could be like how you said earlier that it's just going all the way around. Yeah. But um, we'll have to take a call on that at some point in time. It's giving me this sense. Like it's like on the top, like this thing, right? Some yeah. animals have like bat in a sense. It has like that kind of attachment to the leg, right? Mm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, got it. Yeah, that that's, of... what I, that's what I meant. Like earlier when I said bat wings, that's yeah. kind of what I meant. But... Uh, in case of bat wings, it's basically their bone structure is built in such a way that their front hands are a part of the wing. Whereas yeah. over here, this has two legs separated and two pairs of legs separated and this wing is coming out separated. So you can't really add that in as a bone structure. I can only kind of try and imagine that as a tentacle from somewhere up above. Yeah, the, you, you are seeing uh, it through could be a, a fold, it looked like a fold actually, yeah, or a fold or something like yeah. that, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, but I think, yeah, this will have to figure it out. I mean, like, yeah. I don't like it this way when it's attaching, but like, the when it, it's kind of floating like that, right? Mm-hmm. It actually mm-hmm. looks a bit better, like whatever I had previously, I think. Then we'll do one thing. We'll try and create something uh, that's warping around it like as a floating because even I like that idea of yours more than anything else. Um, and yeah. that, like, that, that just makes a lot more sense as far as the character itself is concerned as well. Yeah. But... Now I'm not sure. I think there should be some attachment here. No, that that could be because like you just haven't uh, spent enough time to do what you are trying to achieve. Yeah, like, I mean basically this thing right will now, come so, forward again. Yeah, yeah, it's too big as well. Like towards the lower yeah, part, yeah, it's yeah. too big. So, so if you have if you have that stuff accounted for, it'll probably um, look yeah, a whole lot better. Yeah, I think I changed the size somewhere here. Yeah. Uh, let's see, dude. We'll figure it on the next stream. I think we are stuck yeah. here for today. Yeah, I don't mind. We've done it for quite some time, so I guess yeah. we can stop. And it's a good good progress, I would say, for whatever yeah. time we are doing and talking. Yeah, for sure. I mm-hmm. I completely agree. Cool. And I think I want to work from the reference mode, so I will try to get as much as I can from the reference. I mean, okay. I want to do that, but if you want to change the limbs, mm-hmm. or like the front limbs, maybe I'll do that according to the okay. more animal structure. Yeah, and I'll uh, I'll just look for some sort of references for you to like um, get a better idea of the uh, the main wing or whatever. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. So yeah. That have... I think I should yeah. check it out for now. It looks damn weird. Yeah. If I find something, I'll send it across, and we can start from there. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Final thoughts on this thing, dude. When you look from the far right, from this yeah. far, mm-hmm. don't tell me to zoom in, but how does that read? Bro, for one and a half hours of work, it looks not no, no. that much. For, forget like, the, it looks damn good. Forget the progress thing. Just the uh, like the proportions, right? Do Can you, you think, zoom out the reference as well? Do you think the head is kind of weird? Not so much. Like, um going to back. Con- comparing to the reference because when we said the reference the head was supposed to be closer to the viewer right yeah yeah can we just see the, can uh, can you just I put mean, it in the front view maybe if you look it from here right this thing like this this is the forward part in the reference yeah yeah forward most part then again yeah. like this thing is going back and this thing going forward so anyway yeah just put it in front view right like neck mm. i'm not sure the length right I'm pretty yeah, sure the neck length, short. the neck length, you may want to reduce, but otherwise, as far as proportions goes, it, I think it's fine. It's a little hard to tell because when you zoom out so much, I can't really tell where the eyes are. So yeah. I mean, that's the whole point. Like it should look good from this thing. If it looks, the blocker looks okay from this thing, right? If it's readable from the zoom out, right? Mm-hmm. Then you can basically make out. I mean, yeah. Again, in Google View, I don't know how you look at it. I mean, it's not the same. Yeah, I'm looking at it. Yeah, 
yeah it's way more pixelated than what you would be seeing and it's yeah. much so smaller as well yeah so basically something like this from the google view it looks all right to be really honest uh, but like you said i think the neck length is something that you'd want to look into yeah. um but before you actually go ahead and change the neck length right i just want you to try um the second or the lower uh, jellyfish head yeah mm. more down or mm, move that a little bit lower and not that not the main head i mean i was also okay, thinking this to do this then go back and come like this yeah and also like the second jellyfish head the one closer to the shoulder yeah maybe make it all more like bulkier oh yeah like yeah yeah this more, structure um, we have to fix like everything right no like if you use that to cover up a lot more of the neck maybe that would make okay. a difference okay you mean well. like something like this yeah pulled more down more downwards in yeah. front yeah, yeah like can you just go to the side view yeah exactly some like that something like that and more rounder here yeah but um after i see this maybe that will not be enough so basically yeah, you should no. cover the according to the image you should cover the entire body like if you look at the size of that thing right yeah but again i think the neck size is too much here yeah in the yeah reference. yeah you'll have to reduce the size of the neck for sure yeah it is probably a little big but probably it does look a little big yeah so Let's look it at uh, look at it after a while. We'll maybe yeah. like get in clear. Yeah, we've been doing this for some time. We can. Yeah. By yeah. the way, uh, I'm gonna continue this on the next stream. I don't want to do too much offline for this guy. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. Okay. For sure. I mean, I'll yeah, figure that's... out the stuff offline. Uh, like the and then implement it on the video. Yeah. Yeah, that's that that works perfectly fine. If you want, we can probably speak about it before we start. Yeah. So yeah. Cool. Okay. Awesome. So we end it. Do you want yep. me to ask people to subscribe? Yeah. Fuck it up. <laughs> ah, it's fine, bro. No, let me know. Like, I, I mean, feel good. <laughs> it it's fine. Like, if people like it, they'll do it. Like, there's no oh, yeah. like it. Yeah. And I actually I, don't give a ma- ass rats ass about this thing. Oh, so. you don't? Uh? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, that's just some less bullshit. But like, I. I If, no, if I did subscribe. It would mean a lot for me that like my friend will not try to kill himself later. So <laughs> <laughs> why you talk about Dinesh like this? Oh, it makes me oh. sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Me only. Okay, bro. I mean, uh, I genuinely don't care if you like it. Then ah, uh, whatever. Oh, heavy, heavy. Look at modesty here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, man. Awesome work. Yeah. Meet you but, again soon. But do your thing. Uh, click on uh, like click on subscribe, like the video, share the video. Yeah. I thought if, I thought if, if, <laughs> I I I feel bad for who is watching. You guys like the video. You don't like the video. I don't give a shit. Click yeah. on that like button and like comment anything and subscribe. Like yep. comment and subscribe. Yep, yep, yep. You have a join button. I'll ask for that also. I don't Oh, all right. Forget about the join button for. I mean, that's too early. I mean, it'll never be. Go, it'll never go there, probably. So. Yeah. <laughs> But then again, there's a notification bell. Click on that as well, so you're updated oh. for the next next live event. Like, oh, I forgot to record the see this thing displacement thing, dude. I was planning to do it for the goblin. Okay. Uh, baking, ah, it's fine. You'll do it. Part, yeah. Hey, but like I just gave the whole subscribe speech. You might want to cut off. Yeah. Let's just. Yeah. Okay, dude. Cool. Oh, really? Peace out. Bye, bye. See you next time. Peace. Um.